everybody and welcome to Municipal Stadium in Cleveland. Today the Indians are going to take on the Washington Senators. The Indians are 8-6 and six on the season, they're in third place. And the Senators are 5-13 and 13 and they're in sixth. Pitching today for the Indians is going to be Sam McDowell. McDowell on the season is 1-2 and two in, with a 4.18 earned run average in three starts. He's got 24 Indians under his belt. He's given up 23 hits. Nine walks, 21 strikeouts, and he's given up one home run. McDowell struggled in his first two starts of the seasons, both against Detroit. But uh, the other day in uh, Baltimore, he pitched up against Jim, Mc Jim Palmer and ended up going nine innings, giving up eight hits. Only giving up two runs to both of them earned. He walked four, and he struck out 11. Today, he's going to take on a Senators lineup that's uh, struggling a little bit. And here's their lineup leading off and playing in center field is Dell Unser. Batting second is the shortstop, Eddie Brinkman. Batting third, the first baseman, Frank Howard. Batting fourth is the right fielder, Hank Allen. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Ken McMullen. Batting sixth is the left fielder, Brant Alia. Batting seventh is the second baseman, Tim Cullen. Batting eighth, doing the catching, is Paul Casanova. And batting ninth and doing the pitching is me, Barry Moore. Let's look at the Indian defense. Catching today is Duke Sims. You got Horton at first, Versales at second, Brown at short, or Brown at short, Alvis at third, and the outfield is Peterson, Cardinal, and Harrelson. McDowell's looking in, he's getting his sign from Duke Sims. And here comes the pitch. And that's gonna be a line shot right at Versales. And there's one away. Here's Eddie Brinkman. Brinkman on the season, no homers, six RBIs, and is hitting 282. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he walked him. So Brinkman is on. And here comes the dangerous Frank Howard. He's got three homers, 10 RBIs, and is hitting 286. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he plunked him. Hit him up on the right shoulder, and Howard is on, and there's runners on first and second, one out for Hank Allen. Allen has two homers, 10 RBIs, and is hitting 350. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. Swung right through it, and there are two down, and here comes Ken McMullen with runners on first and second. It's the first strikeout for McDowell. And here comes the pitch to McMullen. McMullen has four homers, eight RBIs, and hitting 275. Here comes the pitch. Line shot right at Brown. And the inning is over. But the Indians get a couple, or the Senators get a couple guys on, and they strand them, and we head to the bottom of the first. There's no score. Pitching today for the Senators is going to be Barry Moore. Barry Moore is 0-1 on the year. He's got a 6.11 earn on average. He's pitched 18 innings. He's given up 20 hits, 7 walks, 16 strikeouts, and he's given up 3 home runs. Let's go over the Indians lineup for you. Leading off and playing center field is Jose Cardinal. Batting second is a shortstop, Larry Brown. Batting third is the center fielder, Cap Peterson. Batting fourth is the right fielder, Ken Harrelson. Batting fifth and playing first base is Tony Horton. Batting ninth and playing third base, or excuse me, batting sixth and playing third base is Max Alvis. Batting seventh and doing the catching is Duke Sims. Batting eighth and playing second base is Zio Versales. And Sam McDowell is batting ninth and doing the pitching. Defensively for the Senators, you got Casanova behind the plate, Howard McCullen making up the right side of the infield, Brinkman and McMullen making up the left. In the outfield, you got Elia, Unser, and Allen. And here comes the first pitch from Barry Moore to Cardinal. And he drops down a bunt, and they're going to throw it away. And he's going to be on second. And here comes Larry Brown. So Cardinal lays down a bunt, and they throw it away. Moore just launched that thing, and Cardinal's now on second. And here's Larry Brown. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a fly ball out towards right field. Allen's going to make the catch, and there's one down. Here comes Cap Peterson. Peterson on the season. No homers, two RBIs, 
and hitting 231. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And that's going to be a fly ball out towards center field. Easy play for Unser. And there are two down. And here's Ken Harrelson. Five homers, eight RBIs, hitting 289. Limited play, he's only got 38 at bats, but he's knocked in out and out, has hit five homers. So the home run ratio, pretty good for Harrelson. Here comes the pitch from Moore. That's a line shot right at McMullen. He makes the play, and the Indians are out of the inning. So at the end of one, no hit, they, there's no score. And here comes Brant Alia facing McDowell. McDowell gets the sign. Here comes the pitch. And he walks him. Second walk given up today by McMullen. Not good speed for Alia. And here comes Tim Cullen. McDowell getting the sign. Steps off the mound. Here comes the pitch. There's a little ground ball. Moves Alia up to second. Horton makes a good play, and there's one down. Here is Casanova. Casanova has three, no homers, three RBIs, hitting 143. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. And there are two down. Here comes the pitcher Moore, not a good hitting pitcher. Hit 209 last season. Here comes the pitch. And he struck him out. It's gonna be the third strikeout and we head to the bottom of the second. There's no score. Here comes Horton, he's got one homer, nine RBIs, hitting 260. And here comes the pitch. And he hits this one deep, way back there. Chasing that down is Alia, and he's gonna make the catch on the track. And there's one down. Here comes Max Alvis. Alvis, no homers, one RBI, batting 133. He only has 15 at-bats. Here comes the pitch from Moore. That's gonna be a little ground ball towards McMullen, easy play for him, and there's gonna be two down. Here's Duke Sims. One homer, three RBIs, hitting 150. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And he walked him. So he walks the catcher, and here's Rosales. No homers, two RBIs, and hitting 300. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And he hits that one deep out this Unser, and he's gonna make that catch easily. And that's the inning. We head to the third, there's no score. Here comes the pitch to Unser. Unser lined out his last time up. There's gonna be a fly ball out towards Harrelson. And there is one down. Here's Eddie Brinkman, he's 0 for 1, or he walked his last time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And Brinkman specks that one out towards Peterson. Peterson on the run, he's gonna make the catch. And there are two down, and here comes Frank Howard. He, he was hit by a pitch his last time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. Fourth one on the day, and we head to the bottom of the third. No score. Here's McDowell. Facing Moore. Here comes the pitch. There's gonna be a little ground ball over towards Cullen. Easy play for him, and he tosses it to Howard, and the, there is one down. Here's Cardinal. He reached on a two-base error by Moore. It was the only base runner so far outside of the walk. And here comes the pitch.
and he hits it right at McMullen. And there is one, two down. And here's Larry Brown. He flew out his last time up. Here comes the pitch. There's going to be a ground ball towards McMullen. He's going to throw him out easy. And that's the inning. We head to the top of the fourth. There's no score. Here's Allen. Allen struck out his last time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. There's going to be a ground ball towards Brown. He's going to pick it up, throw him out. And there's one away. Here's Ken McMullen. He lined out his last time up. McDowell's getting his sign from Sims. And here comes the pitch. There's a fly ball out towards Cardinal. Easy play. He camps under it. Cardinal barely moved, and there are now two down. And here's Brant Alia. He walked his first time up. He's only one of two base runners for the Senators so far. And here comes the pitch from McDowell. That's a ground ball towards Horton. He flips to McDowell, and the inning is over. We head to the bottom of the fourth. No score. Here's Cap Peterson. He flew out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And that one's on the ground towards Cullen. That's going to get through him. That's the base. That's a base hit for Peterson. And that's the first Indian hit. Peanuts, get and here comes here. Ken Harrelson. He lined out his last time up. Here comes a pitch from Moore. And that's going to be on the ground towards first. That should advance Peterson to second. Howard turns and throws. He gets the runner at second. Howard Harrelson will be safe at first. I thought he was going to let him go, but he ended up turning and gunning him down. And there is one down. And here is Horton. Horton flew out his last time up. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And there's going to be a ground ball. This could be two. Brinkman, to Cullen, to Howard, and it's a double play. Taylor made. So the Indians get the first hit of the ball game. They scored nobody, and we head to the top of the fifth. There's no score. Here's Tim Cullen. He grounded out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. There's a line shot right at Brown, and there's one down. Here's Casanova. He struck out his last time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell, and he struck him out. Strikeout number five for McDowell, and here is Barry Moore, the pitcher. He struck out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. He struck him out. And the inning is over. Head to the bottom of the fifth. There's no score. There's Max Alvis. He grounded out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And there's a fly ball out towards Elia. And he's going to make the catch. And there's one down. Here's Duke Sims. He walked back in the second. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And he walks him again. So Sims is on again with a walk. And here's Versailles. He's 0 for 1. He flew out his last time up. And here comes the pitch from Moore. There's a base hit in the left. They're going to hold Sims at second as he does not run well. And the Indians got runners at first and second for McDowell. And here comes the pitch to Moore. It's going to be a base hit into right, and they're still going to hold Sims. So McDowell Penis. comes up Penis. in singles off of Moore, and the Indians have the bases loaded. One out for Jose Cardinal. Cardinal, 0 for 2 today. Here comes the pitch from Moore. And that's a ground ball to short. Should be 2. And they do, and it's a double play ball, so Moore gets a benefit of a double play. The Indians get two hits, but don't score a run. We head to the sixth inning, there's no score. Here's Unser, he's 0 for 2. Here comes a pitch from 
เมกเดาน่าจะเป็นฟลายบอลออกไปทางขวาฟิลด์พีเดอร์สันมีอยู่และนี่คือหนึ่งต่อหนึ่งนี่คือเอ็ดดี้บริงค์แมนบริงค์แมนโอ้ฟอร์วันเขาขึ้นไปในที่สุดนี่คือการเริ่มต้นของเมกเดาและนี่คือฟลายบอลออกไปทางขวาฟิลด์พีเดอร์สันและเขาจะทำการเก็บและมีสองต่อหนึ่งนี่คือฟรังค์ฮาวเวิร์ดฮาวเวิร์ด0ฟอร์วันเดย์ถูกหักและนั่นคือการตัดสินใจนี่คือการตัดสินใจ And he struck him out again. That's strikeout number seven for McDowell. And we head to the bottom of the sixth. There is no score. Here's Larry Brown. He's 0 for 2. And there's a base hit. In the center field, Alia gets it in. And Brown is held to a single. And here's Cap Peterson. One for two today. There's a ground ball towards Brinkman, and they're turning that one easy. That's a tailor-made double play, 6-4-3. That is the third double play that the Senators have turned today. And here is Ken Harrelson. Harrelson 0 for 2. Here's the pitch from Moore. On the ground towards Brinkman. Brinkman, a good fielding shortstop, should have this easy. And he does, and he throws out Harrelson, and the inning is over. So another double play ball saves Barry Moore. And the Indians are out of here, and we head to the seventh. There's no score. Here's Allen. He's 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch from McDowell, and he struck him out. Penis, penis, get One down. Here. Strikeout number 8 for McDowell, and here's Ken McMullen. Here comes the pitch. McMullen 0 for 2 today. There's a ground ball towards Brown. He throws him out easily, and there are two down. Here's Brant Alia. Alia 0 for 1. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. Bottom of the seventh, no score. Here is Tony Horton. He is 0 for 2 today. Grounded into a double play back in the fourth. Here comes the pitch from Moore. There's a fly ball out towards Zunzer, and he's going to make the catch, and there's one down. Here's Alvis, 0 for 2 today. And he hits another one out towards Unter. An easy play for him. And there's two down. Here's Sims. He's been walked twice. And here comes the pitch from Moore. And he struck him out this time. So he gets him on strikes. And we head to the eighth. There's no score on your home for Stratomatic Baseball. Here's Cullen. He's 0 for 2 today. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. There's a little tapper back towards the mound. And he throws it away. He pulls Horton from the bag. And Cullen is on. And here is Casanova. He's 0 for 2. He has struck out twice. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he walked him. So that's the third walk of the day for McDowell, and here comes Barry Moore. And here comes a pinch hitter for Moore. Mike Mike Epstein comes in to pinch hit. Epstein on the season. Two homers, three RBIs, hitting 132. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he walked him. 
Williams brings in Ed Stroud to pinch run. So a couple of little switches there. And Epstein has walked. Bases loaded, nobody out for Dell Unser. And here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he walked him, and there's the first run of the ball game. And McDowell is still gonna be in this ball game. It looks like he's getting a little tired out there. He's walked three in this inning, and here's Eddie Brinkman. And there's a base hit in the center. One run is in. That's going to be it for McDowell. That's the first hit of the ball game for Washington. So McDowell went seven innings of no-hit baseball. And the Senators get the luck of some walks from McDowell, and they take a 2-0 lead. And we're going to see a pitching change, and we'll be right back. Now pitching for the Indians is going to be Jack Hamilton. Hamilton on the season only has three innings pitch. He's given up one hit. He's walked two and struck out one. Indians are down 2 0, and here comes the big bopper, Frank Howard. Howard 0 for 2 today. He struck out twice and has been hit by a pitch. Here comes the pitch from Hamilton. And there's a base hit for Howard. That should score two. Unser's got good speed. They are going to snow. They hold Unser up, and it's now 3 0. And here's Hank Allen. Allen 0 for 3 today. Here's the pitch from Hamilton. There's a ground ball towards Alvis. They go home and the first, so it's a 5-2-3 double play. And here comes McMullen. Hamilton gets a big double play ball. Here comes the pitch. Here's a ground ball towards Brown. And Brown can't get it as it goes up the middle. That's going to score two. It's now five to nothing, Senators. And here comes Brant Alia. 0 for 2 today. Here comes the pitch from Hamilton. And it's going to be a fly ball out towards center field. Easy play for Cardinal. And the inning is over. But the Senators get five runs on three hits and an error. Benefited by a few walks from Sam McDowell. And here comes Casey Cox now in to pinch hit for the Senators. Cox in on the season is 2-0. He's pitched nine innings, given up four hits, two walks, two strikeouts, and has not given up a run. And here comes Versales. He's one for two today. Here comes the pitch. And line shot right at Allen, and there are one away. And there's going to be a pinch hitter coming in for Jack Hamilton, and we'll be right back. Lee May is going to be your pinch hitter. May on the season, hitting 278, has one RBI, 18 plate appearances, couple doubles. And here comes a pitch from Cox. And that's going to be a ground ball towards Howard. And Howard bobbles it, and he's going to be on. And here comes Cardinal, who's 0 for 3 today. Grounded into a double play back in the fifth. Here comes the pitch from Cox. And that's a base hit in the center field. May holds it second, and here's Larry Brown. Brown, 1 for 3. One for three is Brown, and here comes the pitch from Cox. And it's going to be a pop-up over towards second base. Allen's going to make the play, and there are two down. And here's Cap Peterson. One for three today. And here comes the pitch. And he struck him out. So Cox strikes out Peterson, and see who the Indians are going to bring in to replace Peter Hamilton. New pitcher for the Indians is going to be Gary Kroll. Kroll on the season has a third of an innings pitch. He's got a save, and he struck out one. Here comes Stroud. Stroud on the season, 
One for five, hitting or hit one homer, five RBIs, hitting 261. Here comes the pitch from Kroll. And he's going to walk him. And he is on with a walk. And here comes Casanova. Stroud looked like he was going to try and go. Kroll shortens up his lead a little bit. And here comes the pitch. And that's going to be on the ground towards Alvis. See if they go around the horn with it. And there we go. Double play. A little 5-4-3 action. And two for the price of one. So the Indians got a double play ball. And here comes the pitcher, Cox. Here comes the pitch. And he walked him. Kroll walks the pitcher. And here's Unser, who's 0 for 3, but has a drew a walk to score a run. And here comes the pitch from Kroll. And he walked him. Two on, two out for Brinkman, who has a single and an RBI today. As he's one for three. Here comes the pitch from Kroll. There's a ground ball towards Alvis. He picks it up, throws him out, and the inning is over. So the Senators threaten again, but get nothing. And here comes Ken Harrelson. It'll be Harrelson, Horton, and Alvis trying to keep the game alive for the Cleveland Indians as the Senators are up 5-0 here in the bottom of the ninth. And here's Harrelson. He's 0-3 today. And here comes the pitch from Cox. little dribble in front of the plate. Casanova picks it up easy and throws him out. There's one down and here is Tony Horton. Horton on the day 0 for 3. Here comes the pitch. There's a base hit up the middle. And Horton is on with a single and here's Max Alves 0 for 3 today. Here comes the pitch from Cox. It's going to be a pop-up over by the shortstop. Brinkman takes a couple steps on the outfield grass and makes the play. And there are two down. It's all up to Duke Sims, who's 0 for 1 today, a couple walks. Here comes the pitch from Cox. And he struck him out. Sims strikes out to end the ball game. The Indians looked like they could make something happen today, but they just couldn't get it going. McDowell had a no-hitter going into the eighth. Ended up losing it and ended up giving up quite a few runs. He ended up being charged with four runs, two earns. He's going to fall to one and three as he takes the loss today. Struck out nine but walked five. All ended up hurting him in that eighth inning as he threw three of those walks came in that inning alone plus a single that scored a run. He ended up, again, like I said, four runs, only two of them earned, but they were costly. And Barry Moore takes the win today as he went seven innings and gave up four hits. He walked two and struck out one. The Indians on the season now fall to eight and seven. The Senators are now six and 13. Peanuts, peanuts, get and your peanuts again, here. This is, we, we thank you for tuning in today. The Indians again lose today, five nothing to the Senators. And we will, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you at the next ball game.